In this Q&A video, we're going to answer the question, why are the fuses in these socket outlets so small? Now, just before we explain the answer to this question, please be aware that this video is one of a series that we've made on the subject of underfloor to desk wiring systems. They can be viewed individually, or you can click the link in the description below to view them as part of a free online training package to help you with your CPD and receive a certificate to prove that you've completed the course. Throughout this series of videos, we've looked at how effective it is to use large supplies to feed multiple socket outlets in floor boxes, but these power modules are a little different and designed to be connected via these Wyland GST plug-in sockets and supply power to desks. There's two broad types of them. These ones, which are designed to sit either flat on their backs or be mounted on a panel, or there's these ones which position the sockets vertically when placed on the base here. These ones are designed to be installed under a desk and are more suitable in workspaces where the loads are fixed in position. So if you've got a desktop PC, printer and other things like that, then these are probably the best bet as you don't need to keep on accessing them to connect and disconnect your equipment. If the installation is going to be used by an organization that works on more of a hot desking culture or relies on laptops for their staff, then these ones are better as they're easily accessible to plug-in devices when needed. Now, these power modules come in loads of different variations with different numbers of sockets, switched, unswitched, built-in USB charging, spaces for data points and so on. But you may notice that each outlet has its own little fuse protecting it and those are rated at 5 amps at the most. Now, why aren't they rated at the full 13 amps that you commonly find in plug tops? Well, it's due to a standard that you may not be incredibly familiar with, BS 6396 Electrical Systems in Furniture. This document used to refer to electrical systems in office furniture and office screens. However, two things have happened to cause it to broaden its scope. One is the recent global event that led to lots more people working from home, and the other is that electrical equipment is now far more common in furniture with USB chargers for mobile devices, now featuring in things like sofas and other items. Because these power modules are designed to be used in conjunction with desks and other furniture, it falls under the remit of BS6396, and one of the requirements in that standard relates to the fusing of socket outlets. It states that, the configurations of socket outlets connected to a single supply shall be A, no more than four sockets fused or has other overcurrent protection rated at not more than five amps, B, no more than six sockets fused or has other overcurrent protection rated at not more than 3.15 amps. Therefore, this desktop module with two socket outlets has to have the outlets fused at 5 amps, which you can see here they are. And the under desk module with the six socket outlets are all rated at 3.15 amps to comply with this stipulation in BS6396. The standard also states that any piece of equipment that requires more than 5 amps of current to operate shouldn't be connected to the electrical accessories in the furniture and should be plugged in elsewhere. The reason for all of this is pretty straightforward really. It improves the safety of the electrical systems in the furniture and limits the current drawn by any single piece of equipment and in doing so makes the installation safer and much less prone to overload and overheating with the resultant negative effects. On top of this current limiting, the standard also allows you to install up to 150 watts of extra low voltage power into each sub-assembly. This is usually taken advantage of in the form of USB charging points. If for some reason more than this very generous allowance is needed, you can reduce the number of socket outlets and gain more ELV power. For every 5 amp socket removed, you gain 700 watts of ELV power, and for every 3.15 amp socket removed, you get 500 watts of ELV. So there we go, that's why the fuses in these socket outlets are so small. Please click the link in the description below to complete our free training package to help you with your CPD, and you'll receive a certificate as well. All that remains in this video is to say, thank you very much for watching.